Hey, what is going on guys? Joey here from JPRC and today we got a quick unboxing short video on a corner weight system for 110 scale and 18 scale RCs. Now the reason why I picked this up is because I got quite a few projects going on and I've been curious about the GS2 trophy truck. Uh, I want to see what is the weight difference between the front and rear bias and I want to compare it with my other RCs in the fleet currently. And another reason why is because as you know I love the Yeti and the Yeti tends to be a little bit more nose heavy so sometimes when I have to dial in the performance for it I want to find out if I add weight to the rear how much does it change or how much does it impact front and rear weight bias ratios. I think I pay about $70 ship from uh, rcmart.com I didn't even unbox it yet it's been sitting here for two months so today we'll go, we'll go ahead and unbox it give it a try and see uh, what you get out of this. You got your external power cable, manual, very simple manual. There's really not much to it. The four cells plugs in each corner and then you put your battery inside. And here it is. This is the, uh, the center scale with all the LCD. Nicely wrapped. Now you got these four little scales. So with four all in total, I think you can support a vehicle up to eight kilograms. And that is definitely above the limit for my GS2 trophy truck. This thing is fairly lightweight. Takes four AA in the back right there. And then uh, each corner, as you can see, is labeled. And then you can see the front weight and the rear weight. And uh, everything is color coded. Looks pretty straightforward. All right, blues goes to this corner. Orange over here. Batteries. Nothing dramatic here. Yeah, so if you're using an external source with a 2S or 3S LiPo, you don't need to put the AA battery in there. White. Blue. Turn on the on button. So as you can see, everything is zeroed out right now on each corner. Or well, maybe this one was not fully zeroed out. Maybe it has a cable on top. That's zeroed out. So I've got three buttons. This button here will zero everything out. Yeah, there you go. Obviously, I need to move that a little bit. So as you can see, the front is two kilogram. The rear is three kilogram right there, roughly 29, 21. So that's exactly 40 and 60 split between the front and rear weight bias. And that's exactly what you're looking for in a truck like this because when you nose heavy, the front weight will be greater than the rear and when you're jumping it, it will be diving in. So with this rate ratio for this truck, it should handle pretty good on the jump. It should not nose dive as uh, much as the Yeti. All right, here comes the Yeti. All right, so now as you can see, the Yeti is weighing at 3,500 grams. So that's roughly a little bit under eight pounds. So as you can see, 1960 and 1616, that's roughly 55% up front and 45% in the rear. And because of the weight difference, even though the, uh, the two trucks are relatively the same, but the Yeti is nose heavy by default, that's why it gets the nose diving quite a lot. Now in the GS2 trophy truck over there, I don't expect to have a lot of nose dive like the Yeti, given that 60% of the weight is in the rear. Uh, because of the battery and the spare tire location in the rear even though it's a solid axle truck so it should handle pretty good and here is the SEX 10 II um, this is a little bit surprising for me because uh, as you can see the front is 1350 the rear is 1433 grams so this relatively uh, half and half 50 50 front and back well of course this doesn't have a battery in there yet so with the battery added in front it will be more front weight bias and that's good for crawling and without battery right now we're looking at 2784 grams that's a relatively light truck almost half the weight of the GS2 trophy truck but I believe the weight difference in here as you can see is because it doesn't have the battery in the front and it does have a full cage body not full cage body the body with the plastic parts on it makes it a little bit heavier let me take the uh, plastic body off and then I'll put the battery in there we'll see what is the final weight difference Oh, and I also noticed that this thing times out after a couple minutes. I think that is the way to save you battery on it. I have the Max M 3S LiPo that I run on this truck. I'm gonna drop it in the front. 
So now we have the battery and the body back on and also notice I have extra weight on this truck. Uh, that is because of the extra aluminium housing for the SEX-10 too. But as you can see right now with the, act, with the battery in it, uh, we're looking at 16 and 14 for front and rear weight uh, bias. So that's about, uh, I would say 50, 54, 53%. Uh, so this is a pretty good setup for uh, general crawling, but this is exactly how I like it for the trail. Alright guys, so that was a quick unboxing and quick test of the corner weight system from Sky RC. Uh, it's going to be a pretty handy device for helping me to fine tune all my trucks from uh, going forward. And I expect to see a lot more video with this little device in the upcoming videos. As for now, thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next.